Hi everyone, it's Rachel Anthony from Don't Cut Me Now. Hello. We've not done a live video for a while actually. Um, we've been doing bits and bobs at the plot, but it's been very cold and wet. It's freezing again today. It was about two degrees this morning, but we've come down to do a few bits and bobs. And one of our followers, Susan, was asking about the potatoes that we were growing in pots and she was saying that her yields hadn't been that good. So uh, we'll see what happens with this one. I've not had a look in the pot at all. And um, this is Picasso, it had three tubers in there. We did add, uh, this is a mixture of our homegrown compost and bought compost because I just didn't have enough of the precious homegrown one to use for this. Uh, we did put some fertiliser in there and some mycorrhizae fungi which I'm convinced myself is the thing that made the difference. So let's just see what actually happens. So I'm going to tip the lot out. So this is a 30 litre pot. That's a 30 litre potato. Although that one's got a bit soft there, so that one's not actually very good. Boom. Uh, there we go. <laughs> That's what you call a jacket potato. So I'm not sure, maybe this one has just been a bit too close to the top and it's got frosted. Uh, but the rest, you know, a couple aren't they, that have, are pretty good. So obviously I've not got the weight yet. I could weigh them when I get home. But if I pick them all out, I'm going to put them into this bucket here. Maybe them squidgy ones are the ones that were close to the bottom, so... Yeah, maybe, maybe. I, I mean, it has been really, really cold. But they're, they're proper potatoes. Decent size. Oh, one small one. So I think we will have to have jacket potato this weekend. Tonight, maybe, and maybe a few times in a week. There are a few small ones, look, because there's ones there. The squirrels do like these pots because they look. Then that is them very definitely by a squirrel. There's the original potato. The last of it. Or one of them. That was three in this pot. We did do another video which is on our YouTube about harvesting some potatoes from here but they were the international kidney potatoes so they're more like the earliest so a bit of a shame with those but they are just caught by a frost lot you can see uh, but so I might take them home and chop those bits off and use them tonight I don't want to even put them on the compost so I'm just checking here if I've missed any one of the main advantages that I find by doing this method is you can get all your potatoes out say that and then Nancy's just saying that I missed one but I can't find it now. Was here? Yeah, I'm sure I saw something. Might be a I stick. I think it might just be these. So just check there and then obviously you can use this to then mulch your beds like you would have had where your potatoes were put in but you're not going to have a million tiny potatoes. So uh, I think that's all of them out there. That's just that seed. So that was a 30 litre pot and that's our crop with two that I think have just got a little bit of frost on, but um, it's pretty good yield. It, it's quite heavy, so it must weigh quite a bit. So we'll see you all again soon. That's bye from Rachel Anthony at Don't Cut Me Now. Bye, bye everyone.